So. All right, on news of the week this week, we are looking at uh, Jumpwater's awesome, awesome diving board. Or, I mean, uh, <laughs> his lovely waterfall. I Shit, I mean his aqueduct stair set. This set of stairs before we update the server later today. Um, when I logged on this morning, about where he's standing is where he started from. So when did you start this build? Let's see, when the server was reset, so that'd probably be roughly around somewhere between November and December. So I've just steadily added on since then, and it's what you see here today. Um, out of everything you posted in this city, um, what is your city's name? We'll start there, that's a good start. My city's name is New Roma. It's based off of, well, Rome, and it's uh, the architecture, as you can see, is generally Greco-Roman, so... What's your favorite thing you've built here so far? Definitely the aqueduct. It just stands out, it provides a nice view, and of course it kind of adds a... Well, at least to me, it adds more of a serene element. It, it kind of blends in naturally, in a way, with the mountain and it, it just provides a nice viewpoint. Yeah. That's it's also uh, awesome to dive off. That's what I think. <laughs> I give Declan a 10 on that job. Simply because he landed in the sand. So, the church, I just kind of walked through that. I love the little service times outside. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah, I... I you know, I wanted to uh, base it on an actual church type of thing, so I just put, you know, the service times there. And I'm actually going to put NPCs in eventually, so it'll be an kind of like an actual church. So I was flying up originally, just to give everybody kind of like a aerial view of the city, but to kind of show some scale, I'm walking under your under your aqueduct right now to show how massive this is. This is like huge. This is, um, I would say not too far off sky limit. It's just so large. I think it's actually around 120 or so, or just under 120, so it's actually close to sky limit. Yeah, which is just insane for a build that touches, you know, the ground. A lot of people put spaceships up there, or I know at Twistopia I've got Spleef over there, and the Spleef Arena sticks up from the, the ground, but um, one thing I would like to keep in mind is everything here was hand-built, hand-dug, hand-cooked, hand-placed. No creative mode. This is as legit as it gets. Yeah, the aqueduct probably actually took me about a week or a week and a half just to finish itself. And that's before all the uh, detailing and whatever else I did to it. So that just kind of gives you a uh, mindset of how how long it took me to finish it. I know earlier today you said that you had a few names you could shout out that helped you along with this project. Oh, yeah. I, uh, let's see, Restless Digger is the biggest one. I know he's been gone for a little while, but I could never have finished any of this without his help. He gathered a lot of resources for me, as well as I gathered, but he was the main one that gathered resources for me. And, uh, I, yeah, basically I put it into concepts and ideas, and, well, this is what we have here today. Cool, cool. It's good to see the community pull through and do something like this, and it's um, it's amazing to see you pull through. And I know another thing I want to bring up is the, with a few builds, uh, earlier you mentioned you didn't do this with the church, but you did maybe do this with New Roma. I want to say probably the, the um, VIP area all the way at the top, which I'm flying to do now. Um, where you go into creative mode and you'll build these in creative mode in a single player and then you come and replicate it in, in, in the creative mode survival. Yeah, I did that with the uh, 
the palace or a town hall that you see at the top just because I wanted to get something that blended in with the aqueduct so I wanted to make sure just make sure I had everything right so I would not uh, miss anything when I actually built it. I didn't want to just build it and then uh, have something look out of place with it. I wanted it all to blend in fairly naturally and provide just a nice view. Which is kind of a good idea because I know myself as a builder I just kind of <laughs> got shot in the face with an arrow. Nice. Um, I will um, just start building. So, we won't reveal everything, but I'll reveal the newest project, which should be here in about a day or two. It will be a statue near the end of the aqueduct. Oh, a statue. Yeah, I'll f fly over there and show them the pad of where this unveiling will happen. This will be the area that the statue he will be at. The statue will be holding a sword and it will be well, I'll just let you see it when I when it's done here. Yeah, I can't really describe it to you very well in detail. It does take a lot of precious materials though. So just look forward to that. Looks like it's gonna be massive. Do you have a, a rough scale of how how tall and how big this this uh, statue is going to be when it's all completed? I believe it will be somewhere between 20 to 40 blocks high and it won't, it'll actually be smaller than this circle in width. Okay. And I don't know if you want to unveil this now or wait for you know the builds to be complete. What kind of statue is this going to be? Is this going to be modeled after something? It'll be modeled after a, well, just kind of a, a normal Minecraft player, but with a different type of skin. And it will be holding a sword. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do, you know. I wanted to make it a grand city that looks beautiful, but in its own respect holds a kind of regal element that an RPG game would hold. And that's awesome, especially for some of the stuff that you secretly let me in on. Uh, that RPG feel is going to really enhance that. Um, enhance that. I'm sure a lot of users will ask, are there any open plots for people to move in and live, or is this single, just a for look, for show kind of place? There is actually, I believe, six, six or seven available lots right now. And I will be posting on the forum soon with the town information and everything. For now, if you just, if any users wants to just find me on the forums and message me, I can get you set up with a plot. Cool. I'll direct them towards yourself. As how, as how it should be. Um. Is there a warp, uh, warp gate people can use to get here? Yes, there is a warp gate actually. It's at the top of the it's in the palace at the top of the aqueduct. The address is New Roma. New or the N will have a capital, will be a capital, and the R will be a capital, and there will be no space in between. Cool. Got a good screenshot of that so people can come and visit New Roma. Yeah, the funny thing is, actually, when I uh, when I started here, I never intended to start something like this project. I actually started this project because of the mountain. It was such a awesome area, even if there was desert. I really didn't like the desert at first, but as I started building more and more, I noticed that I was going to need those resources that were in the desert. And I also knew I could eventually cover start covering it up, which I have done. So, I started building the aqueduct because I saw it could fit into the middle of the mountain, and uh, I just kind of built it out from there, and I just designed the city around the aqueduct. Cool. So, the aqueduct came after the mountain. That's good, good to know. Um, also, I know you mentioned that you're trying to be as eco-friendly eco -friendly as you can be, and I know earlier... Uh, you hinted on a few things, you know, that you did, like you placed your church on top of a hole that you originally built for 
resources and stuff like that. Um, do you have any other plans to cover up any of your other res resource gathering um, to promote this project as a eco-friendly kind of build? Oh, definitely. I have plans for a uh, coliseum or a coliseum arena that I will build eventually. It will probably be massive on a massive scale, so that'll come a bit later as I want to get some other things finished before I do that. And I also have plans for a 50 by 100 building, which I'm not sure exactly what type of building it will be at the moment, but... I wanted to do something a little bit bigger than some of the other stuff I have done, such as the church or the aqueduct. Man, that's some pretty massive builds. That's pretty cool. Are those going to be on the outskirts? They'll actually probably be in the desert now in the desert you see to the left of the aqueduct or the right depending on what direction you're facing sure, now I'm not sure exactly where in the desert it will be yet I think I'm going to have the Colosseum somewhere in the middle area of the desert so that it's one of the central points and as far as the temple goes I'm not sure where I'll put that Right on. Well, we'll come back and we'll visit you as you get more complete. Um, I've got a pretty good general sense of the entire builds. Definitely let highlighting that awesome some more builds and we'll come and uh, come and do another view on it. Yeah, I can definitely let you know and, and take a look and see what's going on. All right, guys. So we got a few promotions going on. Um, Currently on the website we have uh, Nathan and Movie Manic both going for devoted position. However, in the past week or so we've had, uh, I should say a week, tried month, we've had uh, an adventure position going up. I went ahead and I extended that to not only two adventures but I also wanted a senior adventure to, to lead them. Um, of course under Hellfire Gamer here and I. Um, we have our three three positions picked. And uh, we went ahead and updated the board, that's why I'm kind of being all skitzy skit about it, but um, before we get to the adventure candidates, <laughs> I want to say a good congratulations to um, Roaring's T-Men, as you see here on Devoted, as well as Daredevil, as you see here is Trusted. Um, keep moving up, our adventure winners are Ghostly Halo, aka Joseph. The team is going to be led by Doing as our senior eventer. Congratulations on that position, my friend. And Matt Matt 326. I want to say thank you to everybody for applying. Um, also, we can thank Declan, aka Hellfire Gamer here, for this awesome board that we see here. This uh, it's called the User Wall. Um, it's got the positions as well as what what the positions are under. So you see here, Jacqueline with Gary and Acarus as a moderator. Um, they are going to be um, over our trusted and devoted. However, myself with Declan by my side, we're going to look over the um, eventer team mostly. However, we are here to help the trusted and devoted. And then you got Ian and Rain. They are the its or more commonly known as the IT team. <laughs> IT crowd, goddammit. <laughs> as Declan wants it, the IT crowd. <laughs> um, we're going to have some more installments, so stay tuned.